So we thought we were going to be off on Sunday, and then Hurricane Irma came through, and that changed the plans. Dolphins, Tampa Bay, Hard Rock Stadium, not a bye week. Hey, I had a nice trip to California, I'm just saying. As, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, California. Yeah, we'll just leave that alone. Um, <laughs> An offensive line but, coach. Yeah, I was, I was, I was going to leave it alone. I was going to leave it alone. All right, so uh, Dolphins on the three-game losing streak. Tampa Bay just ended a five-game losing streak. Mm-hmm. They've got quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick, not Jameis Winston. Dolphins have quarterback – uh, Jay Wait, Cutler, not Ryan not Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill right. I was going to say, you would, you would think that would be an advantage, but uh, not necessarily. I don't see a clear quarterback advantage. I don't see a clear advantage here for either team. Both are struggling. Yeah, they are. I, the, 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 to me, it comes down to which team is more desperate. Right yes, now, yeah. the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they're out of the playoff equation. Right. Three uh, and uh, six uh, uh, in the uh, NFC, you're done. Yes. You're done. That, and the NFC is such, such stronger of a division. Right. Now, un- you know, fortunately for the Dolphins, this is wide open. Yep. You, this is wide open. You you can make that final wild card spot. You never know who's going to fall apart in the AFC yeah. South. Buffalo's in it. You play them twice. Yep. The Ravens are in it. You lost the series to them, but, you know, the Ravens haven't played well all year. Yep. And, 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 and Kansas City is going to win They're their gonna, division. Yeah. And, and then there's Oakland, which yep. you lost to, but you never know how that's going to play out. But if you win against Tampa Bay on Sunday, yep. You got a chance. You got to take that layup. You, you, you got to. Uh, I mean, it, it, if it's a layup, yeah, I don't, like, well, I don't know yeah, if it's a layup. It's like yeah. a twelve foot jumper. It's, yeah, yeah. It's a nah, I can't even disrespect them. That's like a sixteen foot jumper because they got mid-range. talent. They mid-range. got talent. At the beginning of the year, if yeah. we were gonna pick this game, it would have been tough. I would just go in Tampa Bay. Yeah, it would have been tough. What do the Dolphins do with those receivers? With with Mike Evans and Deshaun Jackson. Mike Evans back now from the suspension. Um, this Great. is gonna, this is gonna there, be there, really not, tough. There's nothing special about the Dolphins' cornerback, here. right? Uh, and I know all those Xavier Howard fans I, and, I'm and Cordray, fan. Cordray he's Taylor, right yeah, now. three touchdowns yeah, last he's week. Struggling, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm a fan. I think he's going to be good. They're okay. I think he's going to be good. They're, neither of them are Vontae Davis, Sean Smith, right? And, and we're not even talking about That's, Patrick Sertan and, and Sam. Say, Mann. No, 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 no. 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 See, no. Tank, and, Tank and Howard are very young. Inexperienced, Listen, second year player, rookie. 104 quarterback rating for opposing quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah, look. It's disappointing. It, it Let, is, at least admit it, that that's disappointing. No, it, it, no, it's clearly disappointing. And look, you got a big body receiver with Evans and a speedster with Deshaun Jackson. They're going to need to use their help over the top with, mm-hmm. with TJ McDonald and Rashad Jones, take good angles, make good decisions. Am I going for the hit or am I going for the interception? All of that kind of stuff. It, it's not just on Tankers Lee and, and Xavier and Howard. Oh, yeah, the, they, help, the help helps. Yeah, the help, the help is going to be crucial. It didn't actually. help last week, but it helps. No, right. Yeah, yeah the help yeah. is going to be crucial. Um, on the other, I, I'm not really worried about Tampa's running game. 3.6 yards per carry. Right. Right, there, right down there with the Dolphins in the, in I, the ditches. I was, yeah, I was going to say that there's, there's been a couple of other running games recently. I'm not sure you were too worried about Baltimore's running game coming into that game. So they went, what, hey, about I'm, 74. Hey, I was an Alex Collins fan. I'm, yeah, I'm, a local I'm, kid. That didn't surprise right. he's me. Our, yeah, he's our local kid. But um, let's go to the other side of the ball. I, I do think that the Dolphins' defense needs to worry about uh, the receivers. On the other side of the ball – Again, oh, how the heck are the Dolphins going to score points? How? I, uh, uh, I, I, uh, come on. I, in our last video, we came up with a name for this Dolphins offense. Uh, yeah. Can't get in the club. Yeah, no ID. Uh, no, no, <laughs> they got no ID. Uh, no Can't identification. The right. They have no identity. Yeah. Standing at the door. Who are y'all? We're the Dolphins offense. Got any ID? No. They, they, Shame. they, they Shame. don't. They don't know who they are. And week, what is it? 11, game 10. The week 11, game yeah. 10 is yeah. not a good point for you to have no identity. No, no, it's not. And look, you, you do have uh, a couple of big plays, big runs from Kenyon Drake, 66 uh, mm-hmm. yard touchdown. Who will remain run, the backup? Two yard run. Yeah, but. Clyde Christian uh, said, mm mm, girl. <laughs> Damian Williams is my man, okay? Yeah. He is going to continue to start. <laughs> he is, he is. And, and look, there's, there's no. Um, there's no substitute for what Jay Ajayi brought to this offense, which was the power running and the big play. But these guys have to do it differently. They can't be a direct substitute. 
Again, it's yards from scrimmage. It's not rushing yards okay. with these guys. That, uh, yeah, they, you say Ajay no substitute. The, well, Ajay, I, I, I from could, the standpoint of Ajay, brought the the rushing yards. He brought the the hundred yard rushing. Did game. he really? He let, when he left, he he averaged three point two yards per carry. But he had what he had. Three hundred, two hundred yard rushing games last year, plus a hundred yard rushing game, two hundred yard rushing games this year. So at least he did bring that. Oh. He had it eight, was it was occasional. Eight, he had a collective eight one hundred plus yard performances. Yeah. Let's not pad his numbers because he put okay, up in that. Okay, but that's in what fifteen and how many games did he play? All Seven. Right. So this year, whatever it was for the Dolphins. So, I, I mean, come on. That's, what, eight, eight out of 22? I mean, and, I'm not saying he, he's he the ha- next Larry Zonka, but he rush a ground game-wise, you would take what he gives you over these two guys. Actually, All or total yards from scrimmage, Actually, you might okay, take these okay, guys. I see what you're saying. It's different. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, what can these guys do this week? I mean, it's – can can they be weapons as with these as, linebackers? It, hell no. Yeah, I mean, with is, these is Tampa it, Bay linebackers, right. uh, Levante David, and mm-hmm. all of these, right? Another you, local you, kid. You want to you, you want to run or throw passes to the backs? You're playing to the strengths of their defense. Yes, Levante you, Davis, uh, Kwan Alexander. Man, those need, boys are that that might be the best linebacker tandem in the NFL. But look, you need big plays out of these running backs, uh, like Kenyon has okay. given you. Plus, the bigger the bigger challenge to me is you need them to move the chains. Yes, and uh, so that's um, 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 yeah. Um, now that's um, the part that right. Uh, <laughs> that's the uh, part uh, that's uh, tough uh, sled. My options are throw to the tight end, which we all know how that's planned yeah, out yeah. the past couple of weeks. Not well, and then throw to the opposing cornerback not named Brent Grimes because I, right. I ain't messing so, with Brent Grimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, me gonna, pers- just me right. personally. He, he's going to have a little – he'll be a little salty. We got, lo- we sure. got a little history over here. Yeah, like, yeah I'm mm. sure he's, he's going to want to play well this week. He won't get Mama one of them balls. Yeah, yeah. I think he had an interception last week. I'm yes, he sure. did. Yeah, yes, yeah. he did. And you know she's the ball collector. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, she would I, love to have – one of those. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not even going to go into the Tannehill side of things. She would probably like to have one of those too. Yeah, she prefer uh, that one of those. Yeah, right. Yeah, but she, she, she referred to Miko. Miko Grimes, right? Um, but I'm so I'm not running because I'm playing into the strengths of their defense. Mm-hmm. I'm throwing, even though Jay Cutler's going to be throwing off his back foot about six to eight times right, a game. Right. And I'm staying away from Grimes. A lot of rules. <laughs> a lot of rules. <laughs> a, lot of rules. <laughs> a lot of rules. There's a lot of rules. Yeah. And uh, I need the offense to put up some points. Here's the here's what I what has me encouraged, and the reason why I'm picking the Dolphins to win. In games that they played at home, very few this year, mm-hmm. Dolphins are averaging 23.6 points. It's .4 below what's respectable in the NFL, which is 24 points. And I believe if this Dolphins offense can give this team 24 points, they will produce a victory on Sunday against the Buffalo. Uh, I'm, take, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a Tampa Bay. Against Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. I, I'm taking the Dolphins. Uh, I think I, I picked uh, 17 to 14 or something like that. But mm, Defensive performance. I, that's it. Or that's an it. offense I'm, that can't score. Yeah, I'm, I'm relying on the defense to make the plays necessary to set up the offense and make their lives a lot easier. So, uh, you know, I know that uh, Matt Burke talked about the offense setting up the defense, but nah, it's the defense setting up the offense. That's the way it's got to happen. You, you need turnovers, so you need them to right. jump some Ryan Turn- Fitzpatrick routes. That's it. That's it. We'll see how it goes. That's Omar Kelly. I'm Chris Perkins. You're watching SunSentinel.com.